Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for basic Sorgonomics. We are live. We're on the Periscope. We're on the Beer Cats. We got people watching. Thank you, everybody, for joining us live. We're usually here, oh, around 8 a.m. I'm hoping to try to get a little bit earlier as we work on our morning schedule here. And uh, also, please keep an eye out on our Twitter accounts. We're starting to uh, let you know in advance what our stories are for uh, many awesome cast in uh, Mayhem Minute and something else we are cooking up here for the mornings. Uh, so watch those so we can get your thoughts in the show and uh and really kind of interact a little bit on top of looking out for the periscope and looking out for the um you know the periscopes and the meerkats and all that kind of stuff uh, today it's your weekly challenge and last week uh we talked about fear facing your fears uh we looked back at the video challenge before but but mostly it was about your fears and i have tackled my fears <laughs> a lot i and this is this is kind of a combination one for me because we talked about a couple weeks ago uh sending out those emails you've been sitting on and i tell you what i i i took those emails and um i've kind of rejiggered my uh my uh my uh task list sort of to look at it a different way and 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 if there's something left on that task list would include sending out emails and this is a combination of using remember the milk and uh google's inbox if anybody out there needs a google inbox invite apparently i have a ton of them so just uh send me a message and uh with your with your gmail and i'll uh and i'll send you one over it, it's really good and i think it's really good for uh organization really um it, it to be able to turn your email into a to-do list, if that's the way you operate email, if everything in there is an action item or something you need to address and you want to give time to, I really, really, really recommend it. Um, so so facing your fears, I mean, I, I am still afraid to email certain people that I have corresponded with already. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to ask questions. I'm afraid to do these things. But again, like we talked about, it, those fears are the things that you need to break down around so you can create opportunities for yourself. And that's, I think, the difference between the people that are successful and the people that aren't, in at least their own minds, is, is uh, man, I, I was never able to, I was never, never able to stick my neck out and do that thing, is the thing you hear the old guys talk about, you know? And, uh, and I mean, let's be honest, who wants to live with regrets? So... So let's get, take it back around. A couple weeks ago, we did a video challenge. I wanted you to put a camera in front of your face and and do that, you know, and talk talk into it and see how it is. And maybe some of you guys were a little fearful of that, for instance. So I want to take it notch down a notch a little bit and talk about listening back to yourself. So the challenge for this week, I want you to, same thing as the video, you have um, on your phones, most of you guys out there have an Android or an iPhone, I'm pretty sure you have some sort of recorder on the Android, I don't have my tablet here handy, and of course the phones are a little different usually, um, but you do have a voice recorder if you have an iPhone, or maybe you're just going to fire up GarageBand or, or Audacity, it's free, look up Audacity on I think SourceForge or Audacity.com, something like that, it's free. Fairly simple-ish for you to record and save something out. Um, and it doesn't have to be, again, you're not producing a podcast at this point. I just want to hear you talk. I want to hear, how do you do? Now, I my challenge, my daily challenge to myself is to sit down here, come up with a topic, and talk about it for 10 minutes. I don't take notes in advance. Perhaps that's obvious. Most likely that's obvious. But uh, it's kind of a challenge to see if I can carry a topic for 10 minutes and do it on a daily basis. Do it to a, 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 to a point where you guys will be interested for 10 minutes a day, four days a week. And which it seems like it's working out because I'm seeing the numbers and I'm seeing the people respond. And it's, it's been really cool. So take that audio. Um, now, what are we going to do with this? Let's see. I feel like audio isn't as clear. You can start a SoundCloud account. You can start a, um, a, a Spreaker account, something like that. Just to upload the audio for now. I, I think it's free for SoundCloud.com to do that. You probably connect it up with your Facebook account real quick. And uh, if you want to share it, please do. Uh, hit me up at Sorgatron, or if you have me on Facebook, tag me over there. Uh, and uh, and and let's let's hear it. Let's hear it now. Now, why is this important? Now. And I, I say this to everybody that's the newer podcasters on our network. Um, you know, I make sure, are you listening back? Because 
and and I honestly don't listen back as much as I probably should to hear if there's any audio problems, is to hear if, just because for me it's a time thing because I'm doing so many shows, but as you're growing and as you're gaining your confidence as a podcaster or as just a person who wants to be on a microphone on a regular basis, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you need to get familiar with what your voice is doing. You need to get familiar with, am I excited? Am I excitable? You know, um, you know, I, I don't, I'm surprised I'm doing this. I, I often, you know, I was listening to podcasters, uh, podcast their group therapy, the great podcast in a uh, Google plus group actually. Um, and, uh, and, and, and the one guy talked about, you should, you know, consider standing up when you record cause you'll have more energy as it is. I'm sitting in a folding chair. There's the same folding chair. I, sit in every Tuesday night, every morning for the podcast. And, uh, and, 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 and I sit up, you know, as much as I can, I, you'll see me droop through the night as we get into the wrestling shows. Cause I'm getting very, very tired, but right now I'm, I'm sitting upright and, and I'm projecting, you know, uh, and, and, you know, also listening for mic technique. There's a really good, uh, uh, podcast. Uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, podcast method by Dan Benjamin, and he talks about uh, microphone method and where you are on the microphone. And you notice if you're on video, I have headphones, even though it is just me. I have headphones, and I know if I go over here and maybe it's not straight on with this microphone, and I'm moving around and I'm talking directly into it, and I'm consistent with my levels. Um, just that awareness and being used to that. And I listen back and maybe I'll notice, and I know I noticed this. <laughs> I noticed this when I'm doing the clamors and the Instagram shorts that I do to try to promote these shows. I'll hear too many ums or anything like that. And uh, and other little ticks, right? And, and, and maybe you'll work those little ticks out. Because, I mean, how many of you have listened to a podcast? Um, I'm really surprised how many of my friends have, because some, some of my friends are getting onto some bigger podcasts as guests. And then some of my other friends are listening to those podcasts, but like, that guy's voice really annoys me. And it's like, really? That's a guy I've been listening to for 10 years. So, and not even thinking about that and you never know like is my voice am i doing something and sometimes you're doing something with your voice on that microphone that is something you hate everybody else doing when you listen to a podcast or if you listen to you know anything online or a youtube video or anything like that again it's just kind of learning i'm not i've been I guess it's humble brag time. Um, I, I mean, I don't consider myself, I don't consider myself a good broadcaster or anything like that. Uh, I'm not somebody that's been to broadcast school, communication school, anything like that. It's just I've been sitting behind a microphone for 10 years, weekly. And I guess I've developed sort of a technique from it. Now, what do I do with it? Do I use it for good and not for evil, et cetera? <laughs> and, um, and little things like, you know, I, I was really determining, holy crap, I need a pop screen, like really bad. You know, I've been putting it off for far, far too many years, and, and, and I finally uh, sprung for it here. You know, the whole six bucks they are on Amazon, it's not much, guys. It's definitely not much. You can definitely pick one up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, those are the kind of things to look out. So that's my challenge for you this week. I want you to fire up that voice recorder. Even if you want to email it over to me, if you don't want to put it out publicly, whatever you have to say, pick a topic. Tell Tell me about that video game you're playing. Tell me about what's going on in the news if you really want to go down that that path. Uh, tell me, t tell me anything. Tell me about your favorite uh, your favorite TV show. You know, give me five minutes, give me three minutes, whatever you're comfortable with until you have nothing left to say. Do it a couple times. Get some practice and make sure you listen back to that. Did you do a video challenge a couple weeks ago? Maybe not turn it in. Go back and listen back to that. Are you happy with your voice? getting real self-conscious here, I know, but not to be a self-conscious thing, but just an awareness. Then you can adjust. Then you can feel more confident about it and be like, oh, that's that thing I'm not going to do. Now I'm not doing that thing. And now I know other people won't notice I'm doing that thing. Even though most of other people maybe didn't notice that thing. That's kind of a thing that you noticed. Um, work with it. Let's see where this goes. Everything. Everything is that first step. Everything, every awesome path begins with that new that first step and you never know maybe you'll be an awesome podcaster here in six months 
let me know. Hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this video blog and so much else lives, including my creator's newsletter. Check out my post from this past week when we talk about Facebook video. Had a lot of fun with that. And uh, we've been having a lot of fun, a lot of tremendous results. We had 3,000 views on a video for IWC Wrestling. Um, and you'll get that every week, plus updates on all the shows, mostly not wrestling, if you sign up over there at Sorgatron.com or the banner at the top at SorgatronMedia.com. Check out this week's Sawtooth Willie talking about the Bill Clinton inside job conspiracy, Tom Cruise, and so much more. And of course, everything else going on here. We got our friends from Does This Hold Up joining us on the awesome cast tonight. Samantha Starr from Vicious Outcast Wrestling on Indie Mayhem Show and uh, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, live.sogertronmedia.com, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday night. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.